Today, kids all over the country had their dreams realized in the MLB draft. They're pro athletes, and in many cases, millionaires. One of the most prized prospects our area ever produced became a millionaire overnight in 2009. Now he helps others navigate that same path. Our Corey Miller spotlights Jacob Turner's unique baseball journey. If you stepped up to the plate against Jacob Turner in high school at Westminster Christian Academy, you probably didn't have much luck. He threw really hard uh, and he was deceptive. The big righty lit up radar guns and shot up draft boards as one of the best prep phenoms we had ever seen in St. Louis. And when draft night came in 2009, he was right in the middle of the conversation. There was just so many things going on in my mind. I, I can remember on draft day feeling very uneasy and not having like this great sense of excitement because I just didn't know what was going to happen. With the first selection, the Washington Nationals select Steven Strasburg. Eight picks after Strasburg, Detroit took Turner ninth overall. I can remember when Bud Seeley, who was the commissioner at the time, um, called my name, just giving my dad the biggest hug. Being a top 10 pick comes with a few things. First of all, expectations. Number one overall pick in 1988 and a mentor for Turner, Andy Bennis, knows that. It was a little different when I got drafted because there was no internet or anything, but there's a lot of pressure. Um, being the first pick every time you go out there, or the ninth pick in Jacob's case, they're like, this guy was a top 10 pick. It also comes with money, more money than most high school kids can ever imagine. I look back and I got 235 grand to sign. It was by far the highest bonus. He got way, may, way more than that. I ended up signing a deal that ended up paying me about $7 million. It was a major league contract, which was rare at the time. They can't sign those now. So at the time, it probably put me in the top three to four high school draftees ever. So it changes everything from the fact that before I got drafted, I had you know, maybe a couple hundred bucks in my bank account to having millions of dollars given to me all at once. But at the same time, I woke up the next day feeling the exact same. And I think I would encourage anybody to think about that fact that like money doesn't bring you happiness. It, it can bring you satisfaction, it can bring you peace of mind, but it certainly does not bring you happiness. I can still remember that feeling in my gut of thinking, all I want to do is not blow this opportunity. Turner got his first big league opportunity in 2011. In over seven seasons with five organizations, he saw all the good. Sitting down on the ground threw a perfect strike to Turner, covering at first, who completes the game. His first complete game in the big leagues. And all the bad baseball had to offer. I can remember being at Bush Stadium, having a really poor outing, we're in St. Louis. My wife and I have a house here. I'm planning on going back there and, and experiencing St. Louis for the weekend, and I'm getting sent down to AAA. And it really just struck me, man, like 20 minutes ago, I was pitching in front of 50,000 people, and now I have two days to get back to the AAA place where there's gonna be nobody in the stands. Now that wisdom gained in baseball is coming in handy in Turner's next chapter. He's a financial advisor with his brother and focuses on advising young athletes and entrepreneurs in similar situations he was once in. Because all of a sudden, whether it's football, basketball, baseball, these guys have a lot of money, but they have a window that's small to accumulate money and then they have a long time to live. I would say the line I probably say the most is to never stop compounding. As an athlete, as somebody that potentially has an opportunity to come into money at a young age, you have such a long time horizon to let money continually invest and compound. And if you do it the right way on the upfront, you can really set yourself up for the rest of your life. It's all come full circle for the Westminster Phenom, and it's the product of a truly unique baseball journey. I probably experienced everything you could experience in professional baseball, from the highs to the lows to everything in between. And at the time, there was a lot of struggles that went along with it. Today, I sit here and think about how grateful I am for all those struggles I had because there's lessons I learned in those. There are things that help propel me forward. There's things that I can share in my next stage of life, whether that's with my kids or, or people I get to know. So I would say grateful is the one thing I think about. Reporting for Sports Plus, I'm Corey Miller. This five